guys and welcome back to my channel. It's a long time since I made a video but today I'm here to teach you how to extract a land cover from a Landsat image using ArcGIS. So I have my ArcGIS already open for you guys and my this is a Landsat image I took from USGS Earth Explorer. So what I'm going to do is the most defined land cover is the water. So here's a river stream which is being shown in this Lancet image. And what we are going to do is we are going to extract the whole river and make it into a shape file for us to use to any kind of analysis. So let's start. So I have this image already saved with me and the river is quite distinct from other land cover. So the first step which I'm going to do is do a ISO ISO cluster unsupervised classification. So if you don't know how to reach to this point of this classification bar, you just have to right click on a blank space and check this image classification. See, once I check this, this will pop up on your screen and here you will have all the classifications listed. But if you see all these being dimmed, what you need to go is customize, go in the extension and all you need is to select the spatial analyst. So that will help you to get this classification list be open for use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first here, I'm going to select the image since I just have a single image up on the table of content. So that will appear here. And then in the classification, I'm going to select ISO cluster unsupervised classification. Here we can see the name of the image up here. And if you see distinctly, I can find there are majorly like you can say three classification land cover, classified land cover. The green is obviously, I'm guessing it's like agriculture forest. So I'm going to consider this as one land cover. The other looks like an urban area. And the third is the water. We do see clouds and the shadows of the cloud on the image. But since they are like the blackish bluish color, how the river shows. So I think they would be classified same as the river. So I'm also going to show you how to avoid these kind of patterns. So for the number of classes, I'm going to put three since we found three main classifications and I'm going to rename the output. So it's easy for me to find. So I'm going to do ISO test for this purpose and rest. Everything remains same and I'm going to click on OK. So you can see a small progress bar here, which would take some time for this thing to progress and you'll be getting the results. Even in the case we want to see how much time is this, just double click on this bar and I'll look at Okay, so we are done. So you're not getting the results tab to see how the process is going on. Okay, so once you get this, we can see the river is in this green color. The red, I guess, is the urban area and the rest bluish purplish color is the forest or agriculture cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reclassify these land covers and how I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the search and look for reclassify. And yes, so you can find reclassify, but go for the spatial analyst one since we're using a spatial data. And I guess you can find this. Um, so under the system tools, you can find this under spatial analyst tools, go down and reclass and reclassify. So once you select this, you're going to put the ISO, the unsupervised classif classified image, and you can see all the data up here. So as we know, the green that is one is denoted for the river. So we are going to turn everything into the other. So that whatever rest is there would be classified as a single thing. So I'm going to reclassify and name it as ISO reclassify ISO um, test and click on OK. So you can again see this reclassify. And this is what I was talking about. If you want to see the result tab or the result panel on the left side, when you click on the progress bar down below. So the re-ISO test 
is up here and you can see the river stream quite clearly with some bits and parts of the cloud because they were in the same color. So what we are going to do is now we are going to, so this is a still an image coming in form of in classified formation, but we are going to convert it into from raster into a polygon. And for that, we are again going to go to the search bar and we are going to write raster to polygon and search. And when you get this raster to polygon, just click on that. And if you really want to know where it is, just click on the bottom. And this is under the con conversion tools from raster, raster to polygon. Double click on this. And we are going to select the reclass TIFF image. And we are going to name it as raster to polygon. And always select for the simple polygons. Rest, everything remains as it is. The field should be always the value because we are doing based on the value, the classification value. And click OK. So below we can see the process going on. So once the process is done, this will come in a form of shape file. Just to be doubly sure, just go on the properties and wait for the properties to appear on screen. And yep, you can see the geometry as polygon. And be sure about the geographic coordinate system because that is something important. Okay. And now this thing is here. Now we are going to select the river stream. For that, what we need to do is get the editor tool. And if you don't know how to get the editor tool, again, click back on this blank space, go to this editor and you'll get this bar up here. So I'm going to start my editor tool, zoom in as much clear as I want. If you want to just close all the reclassified colorful images, you can do that because otherwise every time you zoom in, those are going to come and pop up on the screen. So zoom in as much as you want and select you might end up selecting everything apart from the river, so be very careful. So now how I've selected, I'm selecting some bits and parts which I don't want. So be careful in selecting the river. Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. just okay we got the reverse stream till the end but we didn't got the part which was here so I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna check if there is a disconnect in the river and here it is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the shift button on your keyboard to select every other part I'm gonna zoom back and I can see I have selected the complete river stream but these would be three different I would say, um, I would say shape files or the polygons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them all together. So I'll go back to editor, I'll merge. So I'm getting three polygons. I'm going to merge all of them into one. And once they all are one, I'm going to see their attribute and I can see, yes, it is like a one single polygon. I'm going to simply copy this polygon create a shape file, which is having the similar geometric projection as this one. I'm going to paste it there. So for that, I'll be going back to my catalog and I had my file up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create new shape file. I'm going to name it as my river stream. And this will be, of course, a polygon. And I am going to edit to see if I can find this one. And here it is. I'm going to click on OK. And yep, here we go. And then 
I'm going to unselect this, go to the reverse stream and going to paste it. So this is a kind of error which I was getting all the time. This is maybe because the properties of this river doesn't matches. So what we go is go back to property tab. And going to see if the data source doesn't look to the one we created for raster to poly. Set data source, we want roster to poly, add, apply, okay. And here you're getting the complete data set. And what you can do is just zoom in again, select the river, go back, copy, Select everything. So what I'm showing is kind of a workaround when your new shapefile copy paste thing is not working. So I'm going to delete this after selecting everything. And once this is deleted, I'm going to simply paste what I copied as the stream. If you want to keep multiple polygons, like if you want to keep for the river, um, sorry, for the urban or for the forest, you can select whatever you want and put it into different shape files. So this is going to take some time. Here we go. So the whole polygon is deleted and I'm going to paste the river stream and click on OK. Here you are. You can zoom in. Change the color if you want to make it look like a river or lake, make it blue. Here you go. And you can just save your edits. So I hope this video helps. And if you have any question, please write down in the comments below. My email is there in my channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys. Tell